YouTube is a great tool for teachers to be able to create videos and share them with their students. Uh, today I'd like to show you how to upload a video to your YouTube channel and then also how to make it have closed captioning. Um, so basically when you're in YouTube, like I'm signed into my Wayland Google account um, and I'm going to go over here to my channel if you haven't done it at first, you will need to set up your channel. There's some things that you need to do, um, add information, and you would walk through that. I've already done that, so I'm not going to go through the details of that. But basically, I'm going to tap on Upload, and then you need to select a file to upload. And mine, I know, is um, one that I just created. So I created a Dropbox movie. So I'm going to just pull it over, upload it into here, and it uploads fairly quickly. You can put in information, and give a little description. Uh, this video will show you the basics of using the Dropbox app on an iPad. Alright, so you can add some tags and st stuff like that. Now. Um, Pretty much, once it's done, you can go ahead and publish it. Uh, I have some other ones that I need to work on real quick here, and I'll show you. I'm going to go back to my channel while that's working. Um, actually, stay. All right. So I have some other videos that I'd like to work on, and I'm going to go back to the video manager. So once you've uploaded a video, and I'm going to go... This is one that I did today was plan book. In order to add closed captioning, you're going to go to edit and you're going to go to subtitles and CC. Now, this will not happen right away. You need to upload it and then wait probably like 10 minutes or more. You will see where it says publish and it'll say English automatic. If you tap on that, it does a pretty good job of giving you what your subtitles would be. Now, I strongly suggest that if you want to use this, you tap on the edit button and that you go through and you actually listen to your video. It's going to start playing and then... At the middle school, many of the teachers... Okay, so basically you could hear it pulled out my words. I didn't do any of this typing, which is really fantastic. But there are occasional little glitches, and if you need to fix something, over here is a spot where you just go in there, you edit, you tap on this, and then you go ahead and you tap on play and just make sure your edits are correct. Once you're done, you're going to tap on save changes, and then it's going to say, okay, the new changes have been published, um, and then you're going to want to go back, I always forget where that is to your video manager. And then once you've okayed it, um, you may go ahead and publish it and then share it out with your students. Uh, great tool to use in your classroom. Hopefully this will save you and your students a little bit of time using YouTube.